boys welcome back to another video today we're talking about the houston rockets trading christian wood now all of this is just in my opinion and again i do want to apologize in advance for the title i don't want it to sound misleading or anything i don't think the rockets will trade christian wood but there was an article four days, days ago that came out saying that why the houston Rockets should trade christian wood i'm going to respond to the article and i'm also going to show you guys a potential trade package that the Rockets could receive for Christian Wood. Now, just off of the start, let's talk about Wood. So he's averaging 21 points per game, nine rebounds, 1.5 assists. He's shooting 53% from the field and 38 from three. He's also blocking over a shot a game, getting about a steal a game. And yeah, he's got, he's got pretty good numbers. Like he's got potential all-star numbers. The one thing that really set Wood back was his injury. Prior to the injury, he was clearly an all-star. And although he wasn't voted to be an all-star he was behind andrew wiggins even one of my guys that i knew that was a warriors fan was like christian woods like come on now christian woods an all-star he's much better so we all know that but on the flip side i'm not sure if christian wood is a franchise caliber player i say that because well he has a lot of improvement to do especially defensively i mean i don't think he's like necessarily a bad defender but i think as a center he's definitely a liability at getting bullied because if you guys obviously watch the games i mean he gets dominated by bigger centers and it's not even like the best of centers it's just big centers he definitely struggles with but like offensively i mean he's extremely gifted he can put the ball on the floor he can knock down open jump shots there's just there's really nothing he can't do i mean he can catch alley-oops he's super efficient playing with james harden really would have been incredible for his career i mean james harden turned clint capella into a borderline all-star player that got paid imagine what he would have done with christian wood i mean the first few games that they played together was just truly remarkable but James Harden is no longer here. So you have Kevin Porter Jr. and John Wall. Now, there, we could debate all day long about what the Rockets should do at the guard position. That, that's not the point of this video. But what is the point of this video is, would the Rockets actually trade Christian Wood? And the answer is yes, they would, if they received the right offer. And I say that because Wood's turning 26 this year. Whether or not they have Christian Wood or not doesn't guarantee anything. I mean, the Rockets next season might not even make the playoffs. It's a deep Western conference. They'd have to stay healthy. John Wall would have to stay healthy and relying on John Wall to stay healthy, have fun with that because it's probably not going to happen. I mean, John Wall needs surgery this off season and he's still out there playing on a team that's tanking. I mean, that's just the most ridiculous, idiotic thing I've ever seen in my life. John Wall, a guy, your franchise player making $42 million annually a year is playing right now on a lost season when he needs surgery. Just get the surgery, man. I don't give a shit about you caring about like the, the culture like come on man get freaking healthy man that's what matters is your life is at risk bro why are you playing games and also you're taking away minutes from the younger guys like i want to see what some of these dudes can do like armani brooks for example like give this dude 20 plus minutes a game kj martin should be playing 30 minutes a game i don't like kj martin is playing like 20 or under minutes every game like it just doesn't make any sense so i don't i don't know like i think john wall deserves another chance i think silas deserves another chance but i'm giving these guys at most a few weeks like, if the Rockets don't get up to a good start, a respectable start, then Silas and John Wall need to get up and out of here because you can't be the Houston Rockets, one of the most, obviously, well-known and best teams in the league. I mean, yeah, they didn't have won a championship since the Hakeem days, but also Harden led them to two Western Conference Finals. They had, uh, I, there's some stats that I don't even remember. It seems like forever ago, but just, like, winning seasons and making the playoffs. I mean, I think the Rockets were actually the only team in the league to make the playoffs every year since they had Harden. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm pretty sure. Actually, the Spurs, I think that's not true. I think besides the Spurs, maybe. But again, so they were they were a respectable team. They were good. I mean, they were competing for a championship every year. So, but again, uh, I mean, Christian Wood. I, I don't I don't think they will trade him just because if they do, then they this rebuild would just oh my god, it would be such a long rebuild because the package that I show you guys is for a bunch of young players that uh, one of them does have superstar potential for sure that I actually am really high on, but. He's years away, like he's 20, 21 years old, 20 years old. So this trade, the Houston Rockets are giving away Christian Wood to the Washington Wizards for Rui Hachimura, Denny Avdia, Thomas Bryant, a 2022 round pick via Detroit, 2023 second round pick via Chicago, and a 2024 second round pick. Now, if the Rockets were to receive, let's say the for uh, not even the fourth pick if the rockets don't fall into the top four i would actually really consider this trade because if you get like the 18th pick and you lose out on a superstar 
Well, then you can trade Christian Wood and try to get Rui and Denny and hope that one of them becomes a superstar. Now, I don't think Rui has that type of potential. I think I don't even think he has all-star potential. I think Rui's just going to be a good player. But Denny, Advia, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I believe he's from, out of Israel. Like, definitely, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know much about this guy, but from what I do know, he's six foot nine and has an, a tremendous amount of potential. We know he could shoot the basketball. He could play make. He kind of reminds me of like a Luka Doncic type player. Like honestly, I think Denny is going to be really good. He definitely has superstar potential, man. I don't know how he felt to the Wizards in the draft, but also you're getting that 2022 round pick. I'm gonna, it's a first round pick, so and it's from Detroit, so that's extremely valuable. If it's via Detroit, it's going to be an extremely valuable pick. And then you're getting a second round pick, and it's kind of funny because you see Thomas Bryant, he's like a throw-in, but Thomas Bryant's actually a really good player. Isn't he going into free agency? And how old is Tom? I, I believe Thomas Bryant's like 24. I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up because I, I I should have done this prior. But Thomas Bryant, age. He's gotta be. I wouldn't be surprised if he's he's 23. He won't be 24 until July. Yeah. So this is a legit trade, bro. This is one of those trades where the Rockets say, look, Christian Wood has a ton of value right now. Even with him, we're not winning anything in the next couple of years. Let's trade him for a bunch of young talent and pair this with our picks and Kevin Porter Jr. And I mean, could you imagine if the Rockets get Cade Cunningham or Evan Mobley? And then they do this trade and they get Denny to go with those guys and a Pistons pick next year, Thomas Bryant and Rui. I mean, Jesus, I I really like this trade. I, I don't know why I'm saying this because Christian Wood's my avi. Christian Wood's one of my favorite players in basketball. But for the Rockets, I mean, this is just would be an absolutely ridiculous young team. I mean, how can you go wrong with this? It's, it's so good. Like you have Denny, KBJ, Cade Mobley, whoever, Green, Suggs. All these guys have superstar potential. One of them or two of them are gonna break out. And then you have a ton of salary. I mean, Christian Wood is obviously on a cheap contract, but I mean, none of those guys are making that much money. So you can go out and get a max free agent. Like imagine DeMar DeRozan, Evan Mobley, Kevin Porter Jr., Denny. That would that would be an incredible team. I mean, I know uh, obviously DeRozan's a veteran, but put a veteran with this team. I mean, it could, it could be a sneaky playoff team. I mean, that's the thing, like, I don't know. I feel like Christian Wood next season is going to, like, this was a breakout year, but I think next season is, is going to be his actual breakout year. Like, I think he'll average, like, 25, 26, and 12, block two shots a game. And if he's doing that at his age, I mean, that's not enough to get back for him to get. I mean, the best player coming back is probably Rui. And if you're training Christian Wood, the best player you're getting back can't be Rui. But I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments, man. This is just my thoughts. I mean, again, I don't want to trade Christian Wood, but... If this package was offered, depending on how the draft goes, like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of hard for me to pick a side in this because if the Rockets say they get Cade Cunningham, then why not just keep Christian Wood? Because you have the number one pick, Christian Wood, John Wall, Kevin Porter Jr., and some other good young talent like Jay Sean Tate and KJ Martin. So it's tough, bro. I don't know. It's really tough to, to decide this. But I want to take a look at the actual article itself and see what they had to say. So why the Houston Rockets need to trade Christian Wood? When an NBA franchise decides to enter a rebuilding phase, they have a tendency to massage the truth, and the Houston Rockets are no different. In a recent press conference, Rockets general manager Rafael Stone had an interesting take on the state of the Rockets in relation to James Harden trade. Uh, I'll skip that. So, yeah, I mean, we, we understand they could have landed Ben Simmons, Jaron Allen, Levert, but they didn't, so who cares? All right, so... Yeah, the Rockets return for James Harden won't make the rebuild quicker. It might make the rebuild better, but it definitely won't make it quicker. With that in mind, the Rockets really want to speed up the rebuild timeline when they seriously consider trading Christian Wood. Yeah, so, I mean, I get what this article is saying, that the Rockets, like, rebuild is definitely not ideal because they didn't receive a star back in the James Harden trade. If they had received Ben Simmons, I mean, there would be no talk about trading Christian Wood. But I, I'm... I just can't believe the Rockets didn't get Ben Simmons. Shout out to anyone that's still watching at this point. We're nine minutes in. This is going to be one of my longer videos in a long time. But I will say, trading Christian Wood now makes sense because his value is at an all-time high. But why would you? You know how many Rocket fans got Christian Wood jerseys? You know how many Rocket fans love this dude? And it's for a reason. I mean, 21 on 53%, nine rebounds. And that's not even his full potential. Like, this guy needs to put on more mass. He needs to be more aggressive. I mean, this is dude's putting up 21 and nine not being aggressive like some of these games christian wood's being soft like he really is like there's games where i'm watching christian wood and i don't even like i don't even recognize the dude out there like this is a guy that should easily be averaging 25 12 every single night and leading the rockets to wins but he doesn't i get the talent isn't there but christian wood i want to see him take another step like this isn't this isn't 
the Christian Wood that that's we're gonna remember. Like we're gonna remember the Christian Wood in a couple of years that was unguardable one on one. I mean, you look at some guys like Jokic and Embiid. I think Christian Wood can get up to that level. He really can. He just needs to keep working on it. But yeah, if you want to trade Christian Wood, do it now. But I wouldn't because I think Christian Wood has superstar potential. I really do. I think this is gonna be a guy that can average 25, 12, and two on 50 plus percent from the field, 40 from three. Hell, you could probably shoot 80 from the free throw line. Those are the type of dudes you don't trade, man. Like, you really don't. So, I get that trading James Harden didn't make the rebuild any quicker. And, hell, we won't even know who won that trade for years because the picks go until 2027. But, I don't know. My final take would probably be not to trade Christian Wood. Now, this package is really enticing, and I'll have to revisit it in the offseason. But, I think you only do this trade if Christian Wood acts for a trade. Like, if he says, I need to get out of here to go to a better team. But if he doesn't say that, I mean, there's just no reason to trade him. I mean, it's not, it's also not a good look for your team to trade your star player. Like it, it just, it's stupid. It really is, man. Especially because none of those players really, we, they might not even be all-stars. Like if you don't get an all-star back, Rui, Tom, I mean, Thomas Bryant's not an all-star. Rui's not going to be an all-star, but Denny is definitely has the potential. And if he gets like 30 plus minutes every night and is more involved in the offense, because in Washington, he's obviously not with Beal and Russ, but I just, I don't think I can do this. I really don't, man. I know I kind of liked it, but at the same time, I mean, Christian Wood, I just have so much faith in him. I really do. So let's take a look at the rest of the article, though. So, all right. So the Rockets signing of Christian Wood was the best move of the offseason. The Rockets were able to land him for $41 million. He's ranked the 96th highest paid player in the NBA, and he's only making $2,174 more than JJ Redick. That's so funny. Yeah, I will say, uh, add it all up and Wood is an elite center that's paid like an NBA rotation piece. His value through trade is up there with the best players in the league because while his production isn't at that level, his salary could fit nicely in just uh, about any team's ledger. So, um, I mean, I don't, I disagree to say that his production isn't at that level. He's playing with a pretty poor roster on a rebuilding team. He's also playing with a coach that doesn't call any plays for him, that has no sets for him. So, I mean, the Rockets, if they're going to trade Christian Wood, they, they're going to sell him high. They're going to sell him at what he really has the potential to be. They're not going to sell him for his numbers now. I think that's just how I look at it. But trading Wood is uh, what's best for the Rockets right now. Let's see this. So, fortunately for the Rockets, he still has two more years after the season on his deal. And moving him this offseason could land the Rockets an immense haul for a team trying to gear up for a title run or a franchise trying to finally break into the playoff picture. A team like the Charlotte Hornets or Boston Celtics who need a center and have ample draft assets can make a perfect trade partner for the Rockets. I mean, who are the Hornets sending, though? I mean, are they going to give, like, Terry Rozier? I mean, or Devontae Graham? I mean, the Rockets don't want none of that. They don't need another guard, really. I mean, yeah, the Rockets could use, like, a K Cunningham, but, I mean, who the hell couldn't? So, I mean, they, they don't really need to focus on a point guard. Like, I know the Rockets are probably going to take a point guard with the one of those uh, Milwaukee uh, Portland picks, but... Overall, I just don't see them really needing a point guard right now. I mean, you have John Wall, who's your franchise player. You have DJ Augustine. So I think I think that's good enough right now. I mean, just I mean, I guess you could, I guess, but I don't know. Oh, uh, KBJ too. I mean, is KBJ a point guard or a shooting guard? I don't. I think he's technically a shooting guard, but. Another reason why the Rockets should aggressively shop Wood is that he alone won't make them a playoff team. The reality is the Rockets won't be competitive until Wood is much more expensive. Once he's on a max deal, he's merely a fairly compensated player and not a gold minus surplus of value. That's actually the best point that this article has made and probably the only good point, like legitimate point. So yeah, I mean, Christian Wood, I think, is like a year or two away. Like I said, I mean, he right now, he's just his frame is just too small. He's not aggressive enough, but I think in like a year or two, He'll be there, but to that point, the Rockets are going to have to give him a new contract. He'll be 27, and yeah, they're going to have to be competing with other teams. I mean, I, believe, I don't believe he's he's a restricted. Yeah, he's unrestricted, so yeah, he probably would go to the Rockets if they matched any offer just, just because they signed him originally, and you now it's his home. But yeah, I mean, I, I get that. I, I really do. But also, I mean, you don't just want to give up Christian Wood because you're going to have to pay him. I mean, you don't trade your best players instead of paying them. Like, look at, I mean, I don't have any really basketball examples, but I mean, just look at baseball. Like, for example, like Mookie Betts, like the Red Sox should have just paid him. But I mean, the Red Sox are playing well right now without him. But the Rockets, whether or not they have Christian Wood, will be fine. But I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see what people think down in the comments. But yeah, uh, the Rockets time to rebuild is right now. I definitely agree with that. All right, man. This article is moving pretty slowly. Okay, so 
Uh, I'm, I'm gonna end it there. It's kind of lagging a little bit, but let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think the Houston Rockets should trade Christian Wood? I mean, obviously, most people will say no, but I mean, what do you guys think of that Washington package? What do you guys think of trading Wood before he obviously gets a max contract? Because in two years, Christian Wood's not coming back for 41 million or whatever. He's gonna want a max contract. He's gonna be well deserving of it. So, so the Rockets just unload him now, try to get some young studs to pair with KPJ and potentially this top four pick. Or should they just roll out wood and keep him with Wall, KBJ, and the pick? It's your boy Swaggy signing out. You guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.